Uranium-235 is an isotope of uranium making up about 0.72% of natural uranium. Unlike the predominant isotope uranium-238, it is fissile, i.e., it can sustain a fission chain reaction. It is the only fissile isotope with a primordial nuclide found in significant quantity in nature. Uranium-235 has a half-life of 703.8 million years. It was discovered in 1935 by Arthur Jeffrey Dempster. Its fission cross-section for slow thermal neutrons is about 584.994 barns. For fast neutrons it is on the order of one barn. Most but not all neutron absorptions result in fission, a minority result in neutron capture forming uranium-236. Natural decay chain U 92 235 7.038 10 8 Y alpha TH 90 231 25.52 H beta minus pa 91 231 3 276 times 10 4 y alpha ac 89 227 21.773 y 98.62% Beta minus TH ninety two hundred twenty seven eighteen point seven one eight D alpha twenty one seven hundred seventy three Y one point three eight percent alpha FR eighty seven two hundred twenty three twenty one point eight Min beta minus bra eighty eight two hundred twenty three eleven point four three four D alpha RN eighty six two hundred nineteen RN eighty six two hundred nineteen three ninety six S alpha Po 84 215 1.778 Ms. Alpha PB 82 211 36.1 Min Beta Minus Bi 83 211 2.13 Min 99 73% alpha tl 81 207 4.77 min beta minus 2.13 min 0.27% beta minus po 84 211 0 516 s alpha pb stable 82 207 Display style begin array R C E carrot two hundred thirty five underscore ninety two U two alpha seven point zero three eight times ten carrot eight C E Y carrot two hundred thirty one underscore ninety T H two beta carrot twenty five point five two C E H carrot two hundred thirty one underscore ninety one pa two alpha three point two seven six times ten carrot four C E Y carrot two hundred twenty seven underscore eighty nine A C begin 
begin B matrix C E two ninety eight point six two per cent beta carrot twenty one point seven seven three C E Y carrot two hundred twenty seven underscore ninety TH two alpha eighteen point seven one eight C E D C E two one point three eight per cent alpha twenty one point seven seven three C E Y carrot two hundred twenty three underscore eighty seven F R two beta carrot twenty one point eight C E min end B matrix C E carrot two hundred twenty three underscore eighty eight Ra two alpha eleven point four three four C E D carrot two hundred nineteen underscore eighty six R N C E carrot two hundred nineteen underscore eighty six R N two alpha three point nine six C E S carrot two hundred fifteen underscore eighty four Po two alpha one point seven seven eight C E Miss carrot two hundred eleven underscore eighty two P B two beta carrot thirty six point one C E min carrot two hundred eleven underscore eighty three by begin B matrix C E two ninety nine point seven three per cent alpha two point one three C E min carrot two hundred seven underscore eighty one T L two beta carrot four point seven seven C E min C E two zero point two seven per cent beta carrot two point one three C E min carrot two hundred eleven underscore eighty four Po two alpha zero 516 C E S end B matrix C E carrot 207 underscore 82 P B underscore stable end array topic fission The fission of one atom of uranium-235 generates 202.5 MeV equals 3.24 times 10 minus 11 J, which translates to 19.54 terajoules per mole, or 83.14 terajoules per kilogram. This is around 2.5 million times more than the energy released from burning coal. When 23592U nuclides are bombarded with neutrons, one of the many fission reactions that it can undergo is the following shown visually in the adjacent image 10N plus 23592U14156 Ba plus 9236KR plus 310N Heavy water reactors, and some graphite moderated reactors can use unenriched uranium, but light water reactors must use low enriched uranium because of light water's neutron absorption. Uranium enrichment removes some of the uranium-238 and increases the proportion of uranium-235. Highly enriched uranium HEU, which contains an even greater proportion of uranium-235, is sometimes used in nuclear weapon design. If at least one neutron from uranium-235 fission strikes another nucleus and causes it to fission, then the chain reaction will continue. If the reaction will sustain itself, it is said to be critical, and the mass of U-235 required to produce the critical condition is said to be a critical mass. A critical chain reaction can be achieved at low concentrations of U-235 if the neutrons from fission are moderated to lower their speed, since the probability for fission with slow neutrons is greater. A fission chain reaction produces intermediate mass fragments which are highly radioactive and produce further energy by their radioactive decay. Some of them produce neutrons, called delayed neutrons, which contribute to the fission chain reaction. In nuclear reactors, the reaction is slowed down by the addition of control rods which are made of elements such as boron, cadmium, and hafnium which can absorb a large number of neutrons. In nuclear bombs, the reaction is uncontrolled and the large amount of energy released creates a nuclear explosion. <laughs> nuclear weapons The Little Boy gun-type atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945 was made of highly enriched uranium with a large tamper. The nominal spherical critical mass for an untampered 235U nuclear weapon is 56 kg pounds, a sphere 17.32 cm in diameter. The material must be 85% or more of 235U and is known as weapons-grade uranium, though for a crude, inefficient weapon 20% is sufficient called weapons usable. Even lower enrichment can be used, but then the required critical mass rapidly increases. 
Use of a large tamper, implosion geometries, trigger tubes, polonium triggers, tritium enhancement, and neutron reflectors can enable a more compact, economical weapon using one-fourth or less of the nominal critical mass, though this would likely only be possible in a country that already had extensive experience in engineering nuclear weapons. Most modern nuclear weapon designs use plutonium-239 as the fissile component of the primary stage, however HEU is often used in the secondary stage. Uses Uranium-235 has many uses such as fuel for nuclear power plants, and nuclear weapons such as nuclear bombs. Other uses include the satellite SNAP-10A and the RORSAT satellites. 